Hi there, I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. In this video, I want to present you this lighting kit that I did for the Extreme Off Rotor. So, the Extreme Off Rotor is um, an amazing uh, Technic kit. I really like it, but I wanted to upgrade it with some lighting. Um, well, there are many lighting kits on the market, uh, but what I really disliked about the available lighting kits is that you can program them. And I'm, of course, a programmer. And so, I built this kit based on RGB LEDs. Um, I've, I have them um, produced. I had them produced um, as a custom PCB, uh, and I have some extras, so you can buy all of my extras on my website. Um, and um, what this kit does is that it changes color. So you can see that the inside here of the car is changing color all the time. So it it cycles through all available colors here, just to, to show you how that works. And um, here the headlights, I made them white, but of course you can um, turn them off and on here with the remote control, so they're programmable. And um, so the, the, the power stays on, it's just a command instruction um, to go there. Plus, what's really nice about these um, LED boards here is, um, I'll, I'll probably better show it here on top, is that um, regular Lego transparent bricks here, they um, just fit over the LEDs, so um, it looks very Lego there. Now, um, turning the lights on and off is of course cool, but it's even cooler to do um, stuff like police light animations. So um, this is just an animation with a few keyframes, and I'm telling it to turn blue, turn off, turn blue again, and then uh, turn red. And of course, I had to do Knight Rider. So if you have a series of LEDs, you can easily uh, make this Knight Rider style um, um, scanning radar thingy, which is awesome uh, <laughs> for, for many cars. Um, but there is, of course, uh, more coolness. Once you have all of this programmed, this means I can change the tail light so that as soon as the car moves backwards, um, I'm gonna try and show everything at the same time. So here is the remote control. I'm pulling the stick backwards and it lights, uh, white lights, just like a normal car would do when it uh, runs backwards and then the brake lights go, um, light up again. And of course, um, it's got directions. So if you turn left, the left indicators go uh, start uh, flashing uh, in the front and in the back. They're orange, but on the it's kind of hard to film. Here on the back you can clearly see that it's orange. Um, and in the front it turns rather white. Maybe it's better if I turn off the headlights. Let me see if you can... Yeah, now, now it's, you can see more easily that it's orange. Um, it, this is something that's just hard to film. When you look at it in reality, it's clearly orange. But something with the LED light frequencies make them really hard to film. But anyway... Um, with these programmable RGB LEDs, you are free to program and light up your car in any way you want. So be it realistically like this with indicators and headlights, or be it more like sci-fi with um, Knight Rider. So the LED strips that I produced, they are like this, so you can um, use them as a six, row, um, six in a row LEDs, or you can break them in half and use them as three in a row. So in this car, I broke them in half everywhere and I have 24 LEDs in total. So that's uh, six in the cabin here, six on top, six in front and six on the back. Uh, that's six times four, that's 24 LEDs. All of the LEDs are um, powered on and controlled by this board. You can also get it on my website. It's a board that I produced for myself because I wanted to do this kind of thing uh, with Lego. Uh, you can see that this board is connected to the uh, Technic Hub here with a standard powered up wire. Uh, this board uses that wire to um, get a power supply uh, for here. And, but most of the communication to the Technic Hub is over Bluetooth. So this this is only for power, for powering up the LEDs. Um, the uh, 
board here asks the Technic Hub to supply it with 8 volts and then there is another board here like an, an extra add-on board that's on top which converts the 8 volts from the Technic Hub to the 5 volts that these LEDs require to uh, shine. Uh, you can make traffic lights, you can light your spaceships and whatnot um, either by using six in a row or using three in a row. Um, maybe I can show you. Um, you can see that the row here is perforated uh, so you can break it if you want or use it as one. If you want to use it as one you have to add a little solder here on the back because the pads aren't connected by default so you have to um, connect the wires here. Also here um, everything is connected to one single loop so there is three wires coming out of the board and they connect to every board and it's a whole daisy chain. I used very thin um, 30 A AWG gauge wire so it's uh, very inconspicuous so you don't see the wire you can of course use thicker wire um, this wire 30 A AWG 32 AWG um, you can get it I think at most uh, electronic stores I just uh, found an old stash that I had laying around for this project okay well um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it inspired you to um, create your own car lighting um, remember to subscribe i'll put every link to all of the hardware and the code down in the description remember that the code is all free um, and the hardware well <laughs> i'm not in it for the money i just wanted this for myself and ordered some spares and i'm selling all of them on my website not sure uh, that i'll replenish them if they go out of stock this is um, just for laughs uh, remember to subscribe to see more cool projects like this and see you in the next video. Bye bye!